Hey everyone, today we're going to start our last unit, Personal Financial Literacy, and today we're going to talk about interest, and we're going to focus on simple and compound interest. So both of these formulas are on our formula chart. The first one, simple interest, our formula is I equals P times R times T. Remember that's P times R times T. The I stands for the interest. So this formula calculates the amount of interest we're either going to have to pay or that we will make at the end of our time. P is the principal, okay, which is the money that we're either starting with or the money that we're borrowing, so the amount of money. R stands for rate. Okay. The rate is normally a percent but we have to change it to a decimal. Remember, a percent is not a real number. A, a percent is just part of a number. Okay, It's the part out of 100. So when we're calculating it, we have to make it into a decimal. And remember, we do that by doing Dr. Pepper. So we move our decimal two times to the left. And then T stands for time. And we express our time in years. Okay, So that's our simple interest formula. We would multiply the money times the rate as a decimal times the years. And that will tell us how much interest we, we're going to make. Our second kind of interest that we're going to talk about is compound interest. So compound interest, our formula is A equals P parentheses 1 plus R close the parentheses, and then that's to the power of t. So that's an exponent. Okay? So here, a, okay, this is the amount at the end. So it's getting us the total amount. p is still principal, which is the amount of money we're either borrowing or saving. r is rate change it to a decimal, and then t is time, and we write that in years. Okay, so we're going to work through a couple different examples. Okay, you should use these examples to refer back to when you're trying to work the CFU and your practice questions. So number one says a bank is offering 2%, okay, so that's the rate. And if we change it to a decimal, remember 2, we need to move it twice. So that's 0 0.02. Simple interest, we deposit 5,000. So that's our principal. That's how much we're saving to start with. And we want to find how much interest we will earn in one year. Okay, so there's a lot in this question. Okay, but by annotating it and labeling it is going to help us set it up. So I'm trying to find the simple interest. So I'm going to use my simple interest formula. I equals P times R times T. P is 5,000. So we have 5,000 times the rate as a decimal is 0 0.02 times the years. We're just looking for one year, so one. And that's going to get us the amount of interest that we would earn. Okay, so 5,000 times 0 0.02 okay, is 100. And 100 times 1, the interest we would earn in one year is $100. So that's $100 you're going to get just by putting your money in the bank. The bank is going to pay you an extra $100, okay? So then in your account, okay, your total amount, if it was asking for how much money would you have at the end of a year, we had 5,000 plus the 100 the bank gave us, so we would now have 5,100, okay? But 100 is the answer to this question because we wanted to know the interest,
Okay, number two says to buy a laptop computer, Elaine borrowed $2,000, so that's our principal, three years, that's our time, at an annual simple interest rate, so it's simple interest, the rate is 5%, and when we move our decimal two times, 0 0.05. So there's two questions here. A, how much interest will she pay at the end of the loan? And then B, what is the total amount she will have to repay? So let's start with just finding the interest. So since it's simple interest, we're going to use our simple interest formula. I equals P times R times T. So the principal, the amount that we're borrowing is $2,000 times the rate, 0 0.05 times the year's three. Okay, so 2,000 times 0 0.05 was um, okay, was our 100 and times three okay, is going to be 300. So the interest that we have to pay after three years is $300. Okay, so that's answer A. Answer B wants us to find out what is the total amount she'll have to repay. Now, it sure would be nice if someone gave us $2,000 to go buy a computer and we only had to pay them back $300, but that's not the case. We still owe them the $2,000 okay, that we started with. Okay? So for part B, <clears throat> we borrowed $2,000 that we have to pay them plus the interest of $300. So that computer is going to end up costing us $2,300 because we had to borrow the money. Okay, so we're having to pay that extra because we borrowed it from somebody else. That's how they made their money. So those two examples are using the simple interest formula. Now let's take a look at the third one. Here it says Sam deposited $30.00. That's our principal in a savings account that earns 10% interest. So that's our rate. And if we make it a decimal, it's 0.10. Compounded annually. Okay, so we're using our compound formula. How much money will he have in two years? Okay, so our compound formula is A. So it's the amount we have at the end equals P times... 1 plus r to the power of t. So if our principal is $30 times 1 plus the rate, okay, so that's 1 plus 0.10, so 1.10 to the second power. Okay, so remember, we have to go with order of operations. Since we have an exponent, we have to do 1.10 times 1.10 Okay, so we get 1.21 times 30. So at the end of uh, two years, our account is going to have $36.30. So not too bad. Okay? We earned $6. Okay? We started with 30 and now we have uh, $36.30. All right, our second question here says, how much interest was this? Okay, so if the amount I have now is $36.30 and I take away the amount I started with, the principal, that's going to give us the amount of interest we earned. Okay, so we earned $6.36 in interest. That's how much uh, the bank paid us for keeping our money. All right, so if now you'll try the uh, two check for understandings, okay? Um, go back, look at the examples to try and uh, replicate those as you work them. Uh, submit them in Schoology and then complete your practice. All right, have a good day.